hanging out with me today, keeping me company while I go about my day. I have uh, quite a um, large list of things to do. Mm. <laughs> First, do you want to see the stuff that I got from Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls? I have a little haul, little is subjective. I have a haul, I don't know if you wanna see it. I also had to run to Once Upon a Child yesterday to get some shoes for Wentworth. You guys know I can't control myself in that store. It's a kid consignment shop and a like thrift store. So I definitely got some shoes for him. They're all on the floor over there. But then I also got some stuff over here on the couch. <laughs> so I guess maybe I'll share all of that with you. I also need to run to Target to return some stuff and also get markers for mm, Eleanor. Oh, I also want to go to Home Goods and those stores to get a bunch of stuff for a giveaway for you guys. I've been wanting to do it for a long time, but I just, I, I have to make time for it. Oh my gosh, you guys, I launched my merch a few days ago. I can't even believe it. Thank you guys so much for all your support. I think it's still going on. I'll link it below if you're interested. I shared it on Instagram. We will call this a soft launch, if you will. I added it to a comment on my latest YouTube video. The sizes sold out so quickly. Um, it's because of like shipping issues and stuff. I actually just had like a bunch of emails back and forth with the representative asking her a bunch of questions that you guys had. So I don't, if you're interested, you can check it out if you want to, I don't know. Of course I have to do laundry. Oh my gosh, I, it's thanks, it's the week of Thanksgiving. <laughs> I haven't even had like a massive grocery haul yet, which by the way, this video is sponsored by Thrive Market. I have a couple boxes over there that I just took out of the boxes. <laughs> So I have a little grocery haul. Definitely not enough for Thanksgiving, but I did get some Thanksgiving staples. Ooh, I got boom chick. Okay, hold on. So Thrive Market, huge thanks to them for sponsoring me, for continuing to support me for such a long time. It means a lot. It means an extra lot that you guys have supported me, listening to me talk about Thrive Market for so long. So if you're unaware, Thrive Market is an online membership-based market where you can get all kinds of stuff, not only food, they have kid supplies, diapers, they have cleaning supplies, they have organic, fair trade certified, all that kind of good stuff. Their products are better for you, they're better for your wallet, they're better for the environment. Even their ice pack, you can like clip it open and feed your plants with it. What? And then of course you can recycle it. So I love it for so many reasons because it they ship from a zero waste warehouse, which is a huge deal. I love it because of the products that they offer. They I got some festive products this time. Their eggnog, Alex loves it hands down. I got four containers of it. I got a lot of frozen products this time around. Every time I go on their website, I love more and more about it. If you wanna check it out, my link will be in the description box, thrivemarket.com slash the wads. You get 25% off your first order and a free gift. How can you say no? So more on my to-do list. I have laundry to do. It's never ending. It truly is never ending. <gasps> Family photos are like yesterday, you guys. And I have no idea what we're going to wear. Well, I feel like my brain just hasn't been working properly. It hasn't been functioning. I thought I knew what I was going to wear, but then I wore it to a wedding, and now I'm like, what should I do? I have no idea what my kids are gonna wear, what Alex is gonna wear. I might go to the thrift store. I, clearly, I have a lot planned for today. So much to do, so little time. Oh, I have to plan Eleanor's rainbow party, which is the weekend after Thanksgiving. Always a fun treat. I had to order a school t-shirt for Avelina because they're having a big uh, thing at their school. <gasps> Shower curtain and rod. That's what else I need from the Target. From the Target, yes. Leanne reminded me this morning on Instagram. She said, don't forget a shower curtain and rod. And I was like, oh, you better believe I forgot. So watch out of that crap down on my to-do list. So hopefully I don't forget when I'm at Target today. I might forget. You guys have to remind me. Do you wanna see the stuff that I've already bought and then we'll go about the rest of our day? Okay. What was all that? Oh, by the way, I am wearing shorts for the first time and looked at my body for the first time and found this. Can you see this? Can you see this large bruise on my leg? How did I get this? I do not know. I actually kind of have bruises and bumps all over my body, so I should probably eat some more bananas. 
Here are the shoes that I picked up for Wentworth, yes, for the rest of his life. They range from like $3 to $10. Such a great deal, that's why I love shopping at Once Upon a Child, hashtag non-spawns. It's just like, what? And he's wearing a pair of shoes to school. He wanted red shoes because Sonic has red shoes. So I got him six pairs of shoes, which seems like a lot, and it is a lot. Some of them he's going to grow into, like this pair and this pair, and then some of them he wears right now. He's just growing like a weed, and I can't stop it. And the shoes has, he's been wearing right now, I feel like, first of all, he's growing out of all of his shoes, and then he found a pair of shoes, but they're Eleanor shoes, they're sneakers, so it doesn't matter. But part of me is like, oh my gosh, like I've been needing to buy him new shoes for quite some time, so. I'm glad that I finally got him some new shoes. Not only that, but he like, we can never find his shoes in the morning, so I'm trying real hard to be organized. Oh, maybe we'll organize our shoe spot today. Who the, clearly I have big plans. I feel like I have an Amazon delivery. What's going on? Oh, 500 trucks, what's going on? Hi. All right, well good news and good news, I guess, kind of bad news. Uh, it was Amazon, A. <laughs> But uh, he just came. First people, there's a couple of trucks out there. We have to get, do you see the Amazon guy? He's walking all the way, <laughs> all the way to his car. A couple of trucks because we're getting a new water system. What are we even getting, Alex? It takes the smell out of, the, it takes the iron smell out of the water. Yeah, but what is it? It's just a, 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 it's a chlorinator. Oh. And a water softener. We have a well water. And when we moved in, we're taking showers and we're like, man, this smells kind of not right. It smells kind of weird, kind of funky. So we called to have our water tested and he like didn't even need to test the water really. He's like, is there like slime in your toilet tank? I was like, I don't know, we just moved in. I haven't cleaned anything. So I looked in there, so do not recommend, okay? So turns out, mo money, mo problems. <laughs> we have to get a new water Whatever, I don't even know what we're getting. I just know it's gonna cost some money. <laughs> it's true, Alex is laughing. But, uh, so we had to clear out all this space because they're here, we weren't expecting them. I said, you're here already? The guy just came yesterday. Uh, this was full of boxes. So I guess, good thing they came because it put a fire under our bums to tidy up a little bit. I mean, really, we just shoved it to this side. <laughs> but I know what you're thinking. Kim, show us what you got from Spamazon. I don't think I ordered anything. The only thing I ordered from Amazon is Scotch Guard, and that won't be in for like a month, which is so weird. But they don't sell it at Target. What is this? Why do we have an Alexa? We don't, what? Alex, did you order an Alexa? And what the heck is in here? He's been ordering all kinds of stuff. What is this? I don't know. Oh, okay, now that I'm reading, it's for Wi-Fi. I still don't really understand. Wi-Fi dead zone killer. It's really funny. Because another issue we've been having in our home, yes, another one. The first week we moved in, our internet was like literally the speed of uh, dial-up, which is infuriating. So we had the Verizon guy come back out. He had to like hardwire my computer so I could upload videos and I can download, because. I've had so many issues, guys, I can't even explain it to you. My Final Cut program won't recognize my phone so I, with like my footage that I'm filming, so I had to like upload it to uh, Dropbox or Amazon Photos, and then I would have to download it onto my computer, but it wasn't even going because the internet was so slow, it couldn't even download one 30-second movie. It was, we got it fixed. Hopefully, I feel like we did. It's good enough for now. Just the little frustrations in life. Okay, I know what you're peeking at. You're like, Kim, what did you get for the kids? Is this not the most adorable Christmas dress you've ever seen? Guys, it's like vintage. Like, check it out. This is vintage, or at least I'm telling myself it is. For $4.50, is this a joke? I had this one or something that was similar, but I think Meredith uh, will like this one. It was a little longer, so I thought it was cuter. Okay, this is the stuff I got for Meredith. Uh, Eleanor's having a rainbow party, so I thought that dress would be really fitting. Uh, maybe Meredith will wear this for family photos. I thought it was so adorable. French chic. Chasey chic. 
Oh, and then I got her some Jam Jams, sweet stuff with the gingerbread, and it's footless, which are my favorite because you can grow with them. These was new with tags. This was new with tags. A pajama set for her. What? She is in need of some pajamas, and that was four dollars and fifty cents. A cute little dress, frozen outfit. I thought this was adorable. She had a frozen party. If you didn't see her party prep, she, Elsa came and it was the time of her life. And then I found this jumper, mostly wished it was in my size, but it wasn't. Here's Wentworth's loot, aside from all the shoes that he got. I was looking for Christmas jammies for everyone, and these are like good enough. I, they don't have to be Christmas themed or matching because that's not how we live our life. I found a set of dinosaurs because he's growing way out of his pajamas. His pajamas are like 2T, and he's like a size five. Uh, the, oh my gosh, I found these corduroy jeans. I thought they were so fun. His, the jean section in his size was totally wiped out because we had a cold front, and that's what happens every time we have a cold front, and I was late to the party. Check Check out this, what is this, Hannah Outdoor. Ooh, this brand must be really nice. I don't know, I thought it was great quality. He is in need of uh, like weather jacket like this. And I loved the color, I loved the quality of it. It seemed really nice, it's got pockets. I found a shirt, I feel like he has that but in a smaller size. This was the gem of the day, this sweater. Oh my gosh, old grandpa sweater. Wish they had it in my size. It is so cute. I will make him wear this. Oh, maybe he can wear this for family photos. It might be hot. Who cares? I'll make him. Here is Eleanor's loot. A uh, bunch of dresses. She needed a leotard, so I found this leotard for her. It might be too big, but I also feel like she'll probably fit in it. Oh my gosh, these couches. I'm so embarrassed. I found about 7 million butterfly dresses. This one was on clearance and it was probably my favorite one. So uh, Eleanor loved it. I was FaceTiming her. This is probably for Eleanor's birthday party. She is having rainbow themed, I told you, and she likes to live out loud. And I thought this one would be really cute too because it has all the colors, but it's not as like in your face. She likes to live in your face, so she picked that one out, but then asked for both. I said, heck yeah, and then these are her jammies that I got her, maybe for Christmas, but really for every day because they're jammies. And here's what I got for Avelina. She has a very specific style, so I'm very weary to buy things for her, uh, especially when she's not with me. But this, how could I not buy it for her? They're pajamas, I think, but like I would wear these to the store. Flamingos wearing like scarves and Christmas lights. Amazing, it's long sleeved and shorts, so definitely for Florida. And I found these too. She likes this style with like shorts and a t-shirt. And then I found this. The second gem of the day, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> oh, I wish it was in my size again. Maybe I'll squeeze into it. I thought this was hilarious. So I got it for her. If it doesn't fit Avelina, I'm pretty sure Eleanor would wear that happily. Would you wear it? Yeah, of course I'll wear it. I just remembered they're here doing the water stuff so I can't put a load in, but thankfully I did a load this morning and I have a load up there so I've got Two loads, this might be two loads. There's some in the dryer. There's always laundry here, okay? And then the mask situation. I'm trying to control my organization somewhat, and I have a bin of masks. We'll see how long it stays full. You said it was the last time, but you keep coming back to town. Me. Sorry that you take back. All the things you said just to hurt me I love just went cold But I'm still burning I love just went cold Why? I keep on making the same mistake I always let you back in When I begin to get myself together
Uh, first of all, the laundry smells delicious. I used fabric softener and I think there's like residual fabric softener still from the previous owners. But I'm gonna have to try to figure out a system. I don't, because I mean, we have so many family members trying to figure out where, like how to sort clothing. It, it is a huge amount of space and I think I, I've worked it out. Good thing is, I feel like a lot of the laundry was towels. And, oh my gosh, so I have been trying to figure out a system. All of the socks are in this bin because, let me tell you something, the very last thing I want to do is sort socks. Also, can we talk to someone about doing this? Can you either sew them in or not add them at all? Every time I wash my sports bras, these things pop out and then they get all wrinkly. It's the bane of my existence. Why? Never in the history of sports bras has someone said, let me take these inserts out. <laughs> all right, when the kids get home, I'm gonna have them put their stuff away. I will put the towels away because I feel like being generous today. Now I'm headed to Target. I told you guys some people are working on our water systems. Uh, guess what I kicked on my way to the car? Not cool, man. Not cool. Now I'm in my car, and it's still not cool. I'm at a red light, and it's still not cool. I'm at a yard sale, and it's still not cool. I'm at TJ Maxx, and it's still not cool. I'm at Home Goods, and it's still not cool. I'm at Target, and it still isn't cool. Finally made it to Target. I have this massive rug to return, and some other things. Might as well grab a cart while I'm out here. I returned my stuff, we're all good. I'm at the party aisle. Uh, you know, Eleanor's having a rainbow birthday party. Look at this like personal sized pinata. What? I got a massive one from Hobby Lob for $10, so that's good. What are these down here? Oh, rings. That could be fun, but also a waste. I gotta grab some markers for Eleanor. You guys know Crayola is superior. Crayola, Crayola rocks. I love when Target puts out Christmas gifts. A shower speaker for $15. It's like Bluetooth. You can use it anywhere in your house. Electronic lighter. I have one of these. You have to remember to charge it. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Karaoke microphone. Uh, I might be getting that. What? A breathalyzer? Is that real? Just want to let you guys know what kind of mom I am in case you didn't already know. Eleanor has needed new scissors since the school year began and I said, oh, use your scissors from last year. But I guess she could never find them. So today's the day. School year's like more than halfway over. Better late than never. I'm at the shower rods. Uh, I measured before we left. Let's see if I can remember. I think it was 56 inches. I might need to get this for the upstairs bathroom where we are in need of like some storage for toilet paper and towels and stuff. The thing we have right now is so tall. So I don't know, this one's $35. I might wait for a sale. I found a few shower curtains that I like. I feel like I might go to Home Goods and look for them. I really like this print too. It's blue, it's like a lighter blue, but like I don't like how it looks up here, but this looks good. You know what I mean? Same with this one. I feel like I like how it looks in person, but not the photo. This one looks really pretty in the photo. I hate making decisions. <laughs> I ended up getting a jacket and pants for Wentworth for family photos. We're doing, I don't know what we're doing. You'll, you'll find out probably before I find out. Um, out of the corner of my eye, I see this. Okay, so $20. And I bought from Once Upon a Child jammies for like, I don't know, $2.50. It's crazy sauce. Goodbye, Target. It's starting to rain. Man, I love this weather where it's like nice outside and raining. I always forget where I park. It never fills. I think I'm gonna run to Home Goods because I need a shower curtain. That's my reasoning. But really, it's Home Goods. <laughs> this is perfect. White SUV pulling in. You know you're at Home Goods when another white SUV, another white SUV, two more white SUVs. Do you own a white SUV? Do you feel attacked right now? <laughs> It's trendy, I don't blame you. Home goods, let's see what you get. Look at this thing. I could probably hang stockings on it. I just need one more hook. I, what is this? Do you hang it somewhere? Is it for your garden? I don't know. Looks special, man. They have, they are fully stocked on their gnomes. Oh my gosh, more gnomes. I feel like I just did a shop with me here. <gasps> love this felt Christmas tree, $150. I feel like I saw it last year 
Every time I walk into this place, I was gonna say I just did a shop with me here, but, oh, Halloween? They always have new stuff. They're always putting new stuff out. Look at this, that's really cute too. I feel like I'm one of the only people who has yet to deck the halls this season. People are saying like, happy holidays to me. And I'm like, what, isn't it still October? I don't know. <laughs> Oh my word, I'm just thinking of Christmas cook with me. Is that gingerbread lady plate? Oh, I'm compiling stuff for the giveaway and I found this. It is a cutting board that has whisks. It says Bon Appetit. I don't know if I'm gonna give this away or keep it for myself. You're gonna have to follow me on Instagram if you wanna be a part of the giveaway. Um, ooh, that's really pretty. I'm trying to find things that aren't like winter and Christmas themed, you know what I mean? Because first of all, not everyone celebrates. Second of all, I want you to be able to use these things all year long. I'm torn between like trying to keep things classy and get like this stuff and or getting stuff like this. It's like ridiculous. That's really pretty. Where's the other one? It's gotta be fallen down here somewhere, right? Do you like this? Or is it, I mean, I like it. Something like this would be nice for upstairs. Um, but it's $80. Uh -huh, I'm gonna pass on that. Thank you so much. $130 for this, $40 for that. That looks promising, but I still don't want to spend $40. Did someone tell me why I want to buy that. Talk me out of it immediately. Also found this. Oh, hold on. What does that say? Oh, Santa baby. I thought it said something about ABCs. I already got an apron for the giveaway. No, I think I actually have two. Foodie? What? This is a uh, grocery bag? <gasps> I love it. I love it. But it doesn't zip. <gasps> it does zip. Okay, well, I guess that's going in the giveaway. Whoops. Some for me some for you. You know, I made it to the max. You guys know I'm a maxinista. Nice to meet you. I also go by Kimberly Whisk. Let's go inside. I want to get a um, holiday candle for the giveaway. Other than that, I have no plans to be here. <laughs> I feel like I already bought my holiday dress uh, in the shop with me. You guys maybe helped me pick one out. That is would be a true contender. Love all the sparkles like love all the sparkles. This one reminds me of my aunt in the best way possible. The cutout sleeve, the glitter. I'm here for it, but you know what I'm actually here for? You, for the giveaway. I need to find some really cool stuff to add to it. Like, would you like a gingerbread latte? What is this even for? The bath? I hate baths. I would never gift you something for the bath. That's a lie, I might do it but I don't want anything for the bath. Ooh, food, I forgot. I always have to add food to it. Oh my gosh, should I add two pounds of caramel popped corn? <laughs> Seems like a good idea. The shipping is going to be like $80. Oh wait, it's, uh, this might be too like holiday themed. All right, hold on, we can do better. We can do better than that. What, but what can we add to it? Do you need a brassiere? If you do, come on down to the max, because I'm not buying you one. I've actually hit that moment where my kids are asking for stuff, and I'm like, okay, well, add it to your birthday list, add it to the Christmas list. Ooh, do you want a game? Ooh, oh, do you know what? I want to get you a clock. So I'm gonna look for a clock. Also gonna look for something in this aisle. Wish me luck. Oh, wait, I came for candles. Okay, oh, pardon me. Wish me luck. I know there's gonna be one for you. Dinner roll, come on. Dinner roll, dinner roll. I don't see a dinner roll. I'm not gonna give up though. If I have to drive all the way to Marshall's for you. Well, of course I'm gonna call Marshall's first. Oh man, a honey and neroli's here. You guys want a honey and neroli candle? All right, what about fresh peach? Ugh. I'm back home now. I got some of these from Home Goods. <laughs> They're little shower clippies. Meredith really wants to play with them. There you go. And then I got some soap. Did you get Elmer's markers? Yes, I already gave them to her. Oh. 
from Ulta. It smells like one of my best friends in fifth grade. I went for a scent that I found during like harvest season at the fall. There we go. Autumn. Uh, turns out they don't sell it anymore because it was a seasonal scent. I didn't know that. I actually forgot what it's called. But I found that one and it smells really good. And then I bought this from Target. It's like one of the mats that you roll out at the bottom of a tub. I bought a little uh, shower curtain. Boring. And then Target, I got the curtain rings, but then I found those and those were cuter and cheaper. And then I found this at Home Goods. It's like a holographic one. And I thought, well, that is way more fun. And again, it was cheaper, like half the price. I don't know if this one's twice as big. I'm gonna have to look at that. And then I found a uh, rug. And then I found a shower curtain, which was not cheaper than Target, but cuter in my opinion. So I'm gonna set this crap up. Are you gonna help me? All right. Nice little color scheme going on there. I thought the colors matched perfectly almost and $30 for a rug this big. I almost bought one from Wayfair, uh, probably twice the price, so I'm glad that I found. I actually don't know how big it is, but it's bigger than whatever we have right now, and uh, that'll just make me happy, you know? <laughs> Great. I'm gonna have to see if I have some kind of artwork that's yellow, maybe daisies or something, but for now I have to hang this tension rod. Wish me luck. Feel like I'm on a tight rope. Man, this soap smells so good. Shout out, Michelle. If you're watching, I'm thinking about you. Okay, finally got this thing open. It would take me less time and effort to just walk to the kitchen and get scissors. But instead, I torture myself. <sighs> got it. I'm gonna tell you something. My nails are so wrecked from unpacking the boxes because I did not buy a box cutter. It's whatever. Oh, okay. I can see where they had theirs hung. I was worried, like, how am I going to know how high to hang it? Oh, crap. How does this work? All right, there we go. And then you tighten it up. Ugh. Wonder if I can hang on it. It's pretty strong. All right, time to hang the shower curtain. Someone did you wrong I can see it in your eyes It's like your fire is gone Across your face It is written across your face If you want to talk I'm right here Not gonna leave your side Just feel free to open up When the moment's right Across your face It is written across your face If you want to go out We can go out You can hide away Just for one night but if you want to cry, just let it out. I'm by your side now. Just hold on a bit more, cause I know you only see the rain, not the rainbow. Deep down, I know you're strong. Give them hell, baby, prove them wrong. Just hold on a bit more, cause I know you only see the rain, not the rainbow. I know you'll get up again. Take your pain away Cause I hate seeing tears streaming down your face I know you're strong Won't feel this way for long, no If you wanna go out, we can go out We can hide away just for one night But if you wanna cry, just let it out I'm by your side
<laughs> we leave our door open, which is probably not the best idea, but that's what we do. It's so nice outside. Okay, this is my finished bathroom. Wow, what a transformation from what we moved from. 80s style, builder grade. The kids don't know what to do with more than one cabinet. Like what? Look, look, there's even a linen closet they have. It's crazy sauce. I love the carpet. I wish it was one foot longer. So I'm actually gonna go on and see how much a carpet would be that is like one foot longer. If it's an exponential amount, you better be kidding me because I'm gonna stick with this one. Um, and then the shower curtain. The big reveal for the shower curtain. I love how the knobs look. I think they're so cute, right? I don't know. I mean, if they were more expensive than the plain ones from Target, I would maybe have a problem, but I actually really like the shower curtain. The pom-poms I think are youthful and fun and cutesy. It's not too mature. And then the holographic bit at the bottom. It, I feel like, are they all this short? Like, why aren't they longer? I don't know, man. This was the same length as the one that I got from Target for twice the price. And that is that. Oh, look, it kind of matches the tile in here. Look, that's pretty fun, right? I mean, does it kind of match or does it kind of clash? All right, well, there's that. $400 later and that's what we're working with. <laughs> it wasn't actually $400, but sometimes that's what it seems like when you're buying like random stuff, you know? You're like, why is this thing $25? The time has come, dinner time. I have no idea what I'm going to make for dinner. Um, maybe pecan pie, please? <laughs> Can we just have like a yo-yo night? You're on your own? Does that work with a one-year-old? I don't think so. <gasps> She's two. Ha 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 ha, two-year-old. These are leftovers from last night. I feel like we can just eat these again. Right? I feel like I've shared that recipe with you. It's ground turkey or ground beef with a little bit of cocoa aminos or soy sauce, a little bit of brown sugar, a little bit of ginger, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of salt and pepper, a little bit of love, and you just cook it together. I think that's it. And then I always serve it with green beans and rice. Amazing. The time has come to tidy up from after dinner and from the day. We had a bunch of leftovers, we had hot dogs, and it was dinner. Okay, we're still surviving over here. So I'm going to tidy this place up. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark? From so far away, show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? I wonder. How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside? It really makes me wonder. Yeah, it makes me wonder. It really makes me wonder. Ooh, I wonder. Stars come to shine when it's dark 
from so far away and show us where we are It really makes me wonder the kitchen all tidy joy to the world wow this will last about what 10 whole minutes well I guess I didn't have a chance to share with you the home goods haul that I have and now I have two because I went back and got a bunch of stuff for a giveaway so uh, that will be coming up on my Instagram pretty soon but otherwise thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out don't forget to check out Thrive Market my link will be in the description box below thrivemarket.com slash the wads I'll see you next time. If you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your day. Bye.